Welcome back to War Thunder and welcome to Duck Talks number 36 and today we have a lot of topics, a little bit of real life, a little bit of yeah after drama so to speak and a little bit of resume and in the background you can see gameplay of the T95 E1, a tank that is not very spectacular at first glance but he does something that I absolutely love about tanks. Once you have played a few battles with it, you kind of get used to it, you develop a certain playstyle and then it, it delivers, it works. More on this in a moment. Now this is not a first impressions, this is not a tank review, this is Dark Talk. So let this run as background. First let's talk about the questions from last Dark Talks and Toshio Akiyama asks, uh, when there will be my salamander video up, you know, the German Heinkel 162 that I said I will make a video on. Well, first of all, a new nation, a lot of tanks, a lot of planes to grind, a lot of much more interesting things will have priority. I know that a lot of people want to see good gameplay of that. I have an older video on it where I guess I make at least 4 kills if I remember correctly. In short summary the Salamander is flying like a jet powered Focke Wolf so I absolutely don't like it. It is sluggish, has a very limited, very strangled flight model and the speed is not very high. It still is a jet but the kind of boundaries, not, not the boundaries but more the differences in terms of top speed towards super props like the beer can and space fires, you know, they are very small so one mistake and you're dead. Then next question comes from Richie Moorman and um, is if there is a chance to get a discount on a tier 5 premium on a tier 4 premium vehicle uh, slash plane when playing a tier 3 plane or tank well i guess it is if i remember correctly i got a i i think i got many discounts when playing tier 3 but i don't know for sure i have not I don't know otherwise, so if somebody in the comment section knows, I can't answer this for sure, I would say yes, but you know, to get a 70% 70, uh, 70 discount or 75% discount on a tier 4 premium, well that takes a lot of battles and then at the end of the day it has to be the right nation, it has to be the right vehicle, you need to have cash available because it just um, is there for three days something like that so yeah there is that then Danish Danamat asks if I would please upload more uh, arcade content well lately you saw PvE which kind of is in arcade mode and you know I will never forget about arcade I promised that in my tank reviews talking about tank reviews you might see a tank review coming up on the T95E1. I requested a test drive from Gaijin and in order to make a tank review on it and they delivered. So it's now up onto me to fulfill that kind of promise, you know. And yeah, again, I, I think the 90mm smoothboard gun with the APDS FS just works it's not a miracle mastermind power gun but it just does the job damage wise and reliability wise i'd wish that the leopards l7 gun would work like that um as far as i can tell about my memory uh when i played uh, any kind of l7 variant l7 a1 l7 a3 m58 any other variant that there is in the game the apds is just that unreliable on the American 90mm smoothboard gun. Um, what's the name of this gun? It's the T208 E9 cannon. That is very similar in terms of rate of fire to the German Long 88, and I think that is what I what it feels a little bit at its own battle rating of 8.0. Uh, sadly, it doesn't have hash or heat 
um, or APHE just relies on APDS. Yes, there is an AG shell, but what for? The smoke shell, still I have to get used to the entire smoke thing, but it's not useless. But most of the damage that I receive is straight um, gun breach damage. And you know, then you have to repair an open field and then a smoke shell is not very useful. Although the gun depression is nice enough with minus 10 degrees to shoot in front of you and still be in the cloud uh, smoke bubble. Yeah, there is that. So um, then let's talk about the two other topics, a beer war and chingles and a little bit my life. Now, first of all, why did I request a tank test drive? Uh, why do I not just simply grind out the amount of RP necessary to get this tank. You did it with so many other tanks. Yeah, currently it is summer. Currently I'm waiting for a special letter to Hogwarts. <laughs> and I also work at home currently, which is interfering with um, the beer war. And no, I'm not really kidding. There is a lot of truth to it. Let me explain it. So at the moment it is summer. That means it's hell working in a store that sells um, something to drink, especially in Bavaria, you know, uh, beer, schnapps, whatever you want, you know, then there are even those crazy people who drink water in Bavaria. <laughs> okay, jokes aside. So well, at the moment I have 12, 13, even 14 hour shifts. And after that, you know, I jump under the shower and cool down because currently it's really hot in Bavaria and you know that's really really um, painful uh, in the long run and it also costs me a lot of strength and at the end of the day I, I just want to watch a few good YouTube videos and then have to play a few matches and uh, so I really have to work for that it's still fun but it's not like easy mode and again the time required to grind out a vehicle even when having a premium account and support from Gaijin thank you Gaijin boys by the way um, it, it is uh, you know it takes a while so I asked for a test drive and I got it and I'm really um, trying to get good footage for a uh, tank review, but first of all I have to play it for a sufficient amount of battles because a smooth a smooth board gun in the caliber of 90 millimeter with that kind of rate of fire with that limited uh, ammo um, Selection so to speak and ammo amount to a certain degree I have to check out the tank much more to give you a proper tank review And of course you want to see the new stuff and that just takes a while um, Yeah uh, then overall the patch I like it so far, but I haven't checked out everything I have played uh, Quite a bit from a little bit of everything, but uh, most topics I have to go into in more detail and more uh, Precision so to speak. Yeah in the last duck talks as I said there were just a few questions and uh, It was mo mostly about how wargaming behaved how um, the drama with jingles went the support the comment section actually a little bit exploded and most of you agree thank you again for the very civilized discussion and at the end of the day uh, not too many questions were asked so if you have any kind of questions just put it into the comment section and if it's appropriate question i will answer it in the next start talks so then there uh, there is also Anthony Thunder and this is kind of where I run into a little bit of trouble. He seems to be a big fan of me according to his comment and he wants me to upload on this certain Chinese website. At the moment as I said I did not have uh, the time nor was in the mood to check out this Chinese website but if uh, in China there are so many limitations from what I hear I don't know it. I just hear it I think it's not really worth the trouble upload there because I might have said anything in a video that I might consider uploading like you know the relatively old tank reviews then you know I might say something political as a joke and then I get into huge 
uh, trouble and I don't want that so I'm, I'm not quite sure let me know in the comment section what you think about that yeah and uh, then let's go back to the B war before we come to the major topic which is jingles yes I put the major topic in the back ooh how clickbaity <laughs> so um, in, in Bavaria there are big and small breweries and yes I'm talking about the guys you know doing or producing beer and Bavarian beer is also very liked in not just other parts of Germany but also in countries around or in worldwide if you look at certain bigger um, breweries now there are in this particular example three breweries uh, involved let me explain that so our store is uh, not small and it uh, goes really well especially at this time of the year with those temperatures and this nice weather and so we have to make sure that you always have enough beer now I guess we have around about over 800 different uh, kinds of uh, beer, water, lemonade, wine, schnapps, uh, or schnapps or whatever you want to call it, liquor basically, um, whiskey, so on, any, any kind of speciality. And you know to have an overlook and to keep it is not very easy. But overall if you have you know some sorts of products that go rather well you remember them and there are now three companies and I just named them by their initial letters so we have to uh, we have the brewery A C and M and A is a rather well-known brewery throughout Bavaria and even throughout Germany but the people working there are pretty well, they are very aware of the value their beer has in the minds of the people here in Germany because it, it, it's, it's rather controversial and I probably should tell you a little bit about it. So to make it short, um, this brewery has very old boxes, very old bottles. You don't see any kind of advertisement. They don't have a lot of um, pubs uh, in Germany or even in Bavaria and uh, they have a very high price for a product that is good it is good but it's not excellent in my opinion and they still want the price and they can rule you out so they actually can force you to raise the price by um, threatening you to not sell anything to you that is kind of the the value of their of this uh, um, company's beer and that sucks hard you know because you, you you can't you can't really talk at the same level as them then there is the next brewery that is called C and C is kind of a very similar product but it is a copy um, a little bit better a little bit cheaper and now it has a hype for a rather a few years let's call it that way and they are pretty okay however they now actually run into the problem of not having enough production uh, capacity so they are running dry all the time and this is where the beer war begins um, to put it into perspective we have a third company called M and uh, the M beer is really really good I like it but yet again it's cheaper and the problem is it's again a rather small uh, company or brewery and they have a, um, a warehouse somewhere in the deepest forests uh, in a very small town and that small town is a little bit difficult to reach so there is no really direct route to it so no autobahn no big uh, Bundesstraße or you know a little highway as we say you have to actually travel through a lot of hilly villages and towns and so on for around about 80 kilometers and now I had the honor to um, go on that route and I had the task by my boss to actually go up as early as 5 o'clock to reach it at around about 6 o'clock with them 
uh, expecting to open the warehouse where they just store that stuff you know they do not really uh, sell this to privates um, or private customers uh, they just were expected to open at 8 o'clock so because I was running against the times against other uh, people who also were expected to go there and to just uh, get so uh, as much beer up until the point they were out so we are talking here about a war for beer because there is not enough beer in Bavaria because it's sold into other parts of Germany where then it actually um, you know doesn't get sold in time and they have to just to throw it away especially company A has a fixed plan which region of Germany slash Bavaria gets how much beer it's like communism but they just do it because they can and then they really screwed up so we actually got reports or requests rather to sell um, other stores in the northern uh, parts of Bavaria uh, the sea beer because then that company also does the same job but they have kind of a reversed plan and uh, you know those other stores want beer from A and the other way around and we would have gotten it cheaper if we had had the other beer as well but we were low on that as well so it's it's really ridiculous what I'm talking about is not every company that you think is really good and friendly is indeed good and friendly the bigger the great rule of thumb is stay and um, buy locally it really helps out and it stops such madness because at the end of the day we as a store who sells it to practically private people they just demand it and they don't ask for the reasons why you don't have this beer they go just to the other shop and this is where my boss stepped in and really really got angry with company a now company a also has a warehouse somewhere between the actual brewery location and our location they have quite a few of them and from there it gets delivered into our region and that location was practically dry and so the boss of that warehouse just said well sorry we don't have anything for ourselves at the moment and then my boss stepped in and uh, um, there was quite a smile on my face when uh, my boss called into the headquarter of that brewery in Munich and just, you know, said what is what. So actually, um, at the end of the day, we are so good with dealing with our customers that they really, really like us and they actually listen to us, which is not something that they usually do. And when we come out with this story, how it actually is in Bavaria at the moment, with certain breweries, some, uh, a small number, but uh, one of those breweries is quite influential in this respect. Uh, so this might be very interesting for people that are not here in uh, living here in Germany and think it's uh, you know uh, <laughs> the paradise it is except if you want to peel from certain breweries which are practically arrogant bastards talking about arrogant bastards let's talk about jingles <laughs> okay that one was a rough one so um, jingles officially practically returned to war thunder and he featured one video where he talked about the italian air force he featured a replay of that and that's kind of his entry towards uh, doing more war thunder and here is my message to to my part of the community that actually listens to me first give him time and the next thing is let this man do whatever he wants to do because he is the one that got me into playing War Thunder and without this guy and without his actually um, without him actually showing uh, passion for that game I probably would have not picked up that game and I probably would have not stayed with that game for as long as I am now so it's over four years and I think there are many more months and years to come hopefully 
so Chingles is just the guy who he is. He is not the worst person out, out of there and he's certainly not the best. But I think for what he is, he is very good. He is informative, he has a lot of knowledge, background, uh, his background information and the story he provides for certain um, planes slash tanks, the, de the development, the problems, the victories, the defeats, all those war stories, if it's about the second world war vehicle, I just love to listen to that. And if, uh, if certain persons of our community think they can be as arrogant as, you know, just going out to Jingles and demanding uh, an apology and stating things right and you know him getting back under their orders just what the hell are you thinking about you are to tell this old grumpy handsome bastard I made a comment on his video about that uh, <laughs> um, I might give you the link to that the thing is who do you think you are that you can ask somebody on the internet to do something, not just ask, but to demand him in order to allow him to return to the title. You always wanted him to return, to make the title more popular again, which that title, in this case War, uh, War Thunder, deserves. Who do you think you are? Now, just to get this in perspective, I still think that I'm a very small YouTuber and that I need to get at least 10 15 times the amount of subscribers before I consider to have a great impact on War Thunder. That's my opinion, and I behave like that. Yet, I get supported by Gaichen. And again, I just can repeat what I said uh, last week uh, I get treated nicely because I'm still honest but direct but friendly towards the guys that have to deal with me at uh, Gaichen. And the guys you deal on the forums, like the moderators and um, the support and so on, they are not the ones making the decisions. Just keep that in your mind. And if the War Thunder community uh, at some point just gets so salty again that they drive Jingles away from War Thunder, then this time it's not Gaijin that we can blame or kind of or, um, Jingles being in the pocket of Wargaming or some th shit like that. No, at this point, it's the community that asked for it, got delivered with it, still salty, and then driving this man away. Now I guess Jingles will not drive away from War Thunder because of a few people, you know, doing some retarded comments. I don't think so, but at the end of the day, just let the man do whatever that man wants, and just be friendly, damn. I mean, I have to tell you that as a German, really, again, <laughs> what is wrong with certain people out there? I mean, you know, I never thought I would say that, but get a life, know what you're talking about. And you know, on that bombshell, I think, uh, I just have to say, it was the greatest honor for me still up until this point to get my 82 Sky Raider uh, replay featured on his channel and the, the amount of uh, information that I gave him about this battle and what he made out of this video is just astonishing, astonishing to me. I have to say it, I was, really, I was really keen on seeing that video despite having played the match myself because it was about the commentary of Genius. It was the background story, stuff that I did not uh, even um, realize myself or see myself. And he just makes it into a brilliant, brilliant story. A video that I still love to watch from time to time. Not for my ego, but just for my own pleasure, my own enjoyment. And that is what War Thunder is about. Now, at this point, I think that's it with that. Um, again, it was kind of funny how you guys like that landing of the ME262 in the middle of the city with me getting away with it and getting a repair. Uh, that was quite hilarious, I have to say. Um, yeah, I also know about the cap circle where you can refill ammunition in the PvE mode. 
yes i i've done goofed yes 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 i learned my lesson but it was just that i always was at the wrong end of the combat zone and i had to just drive out the uh, enemy tanks the bots out of the uh, combat zone which is vital so i never came across the cap circle and then you have to stand still so that is also a problem because as far as i can tell the cap circle is on um, rather open field where you get shot by a bots by that bots a lot which is not that much of a problem and yes i will probably have a look another look at it at lower battle rating a lot of people said that 3.7 is like hell with all the stukas i will certainly check it out which then gets also back to a request about from danish dynamite and more ab content yes i know it's not the ab battles that i previously showed in pvp um air battles in pvp i think they are gone for me except for certain events or for private pleasure but i think it is too complicated to describe how arcade air battles actually work at this time because a lot of people just seem to just see chaos they just see chaos whereas there are very very small balanced um, equilibrium so to speak and many people just don't get that and then they just say that i got away with that i think certain people will know what i'm talking about at the end of the day this has been a good week it has been a good week for war thunder i still enjoy it i see that i can work uh, together with gaijin better and better and i can ask for more and more i if you like then the tank review the upcoming on the t95 e1 i might do this more often uh, but still i have to play the tank then by myself more than just one day so uh, the gameplay in the background is kind of enjoyable it kind of show what the tank is about but at the end of the day you know the stats on this thing are pretty weird and uh, at the end of the day it delivers results and that is everything that counts so thanks for watching thanks for listening i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to make your comment in the comment section if you intended to do so give this video a like if you did it helps out the channel greatly subscribe if you want to see more and we will see each other on the battlefields and in the skies of war thunder